I am in the catbird seat now because I've got four of the greatest chefs going today. Today, food is on the move. Of course, right here, it's the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, and that is where the culinary world has converged, starting off with four of the best we've got going, joining it to show you some of their breakfast secrets. We've got, of course, Martha Stewart, living of Martha Stewart. we got Katie Lee, co-host of The Kitchen, Marcus Samuelson of Red Rooster in Harlem, and Alex Guarnaschelli of Food Network's Chop Jr., all here to help us. Martha's going to get us started. The help, simplest. The simplest, but yet but the, the most hardest, important. But yes, the hardest. The hardest to make a good soft-boiled and hard-boiled egg. Right. You say start with cold water. Start with cold water for the My for the soft boil. Mm -hmm. Put your eggs Good right time. into cold water. Right. Bring them to a boil. Yes. For a soft, soft three minutes. Time it exactly. Take them out. Eat. Okay. Uh, for a medium like this one, this is the perfect soft boiled egg. Oh yeah. Four minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's it. Now for hard boil. Yes. Uh, you can put the eggs into cold water. Bring them to a raging boil, and when they are boiling, mm -hmm. cover. Turn off the heat. Yes. And put your timer on. Uh, for a small, medium egg, it's 12 minutes. For a large, extra large egg, it's 13 minutes. Take them out of the water. And, and you don't get that ugly uh, no, uh, look green at, side look, on it. Look at the egg. That there, is perfect. There's no green. There's no. It's perfect. Love and it. A little bit soft in the middle. All right. Okay. To take your smoothie with you, Katie Lee, you yes. say make a smoothie popsicle. Yeah. You know, every morning I eat Greek yogurt, fruit, and granola for breakfast okay. every day. Smooth. But if you're on the go, you can actually make it into a little pop. Ooh. So I've got really vanilla good. Greek yogurt. Uh -huh. So it has a little bit of sweetness to it. You All could right. use plain and add honey if you mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. I'm doing raspberries today. <laughs> But you could do blueberries you or strawberries or a banana. You like, yeah, or a banana. And <laughs> Katie a was eating a banana milk. earlier. I know, they took my banana champion. away. Okay, That's... so put the lid on, blend it up, if the power is working. Oh, there, there we it go. Goes. There we go. And then you just layer it with some granola into little ice pop molds. That's perfect. So fancy Another today, today, a today breakfast like tip. That. That's yeah. fantastic. Easy. And it's easy. Yeah, it's I'm a little messy, it, but know. it's okay. It's and then they end up like this. Okay. And you can also do it with mm. kale. Oh. And do a little green uh, pop. Very nice. With some banana there in there. Yeah. Katie Lee, thank you very much. Healthy. Let's, so, of course, this is today's all-star breakfast tips. We've got Marcus Samuelson. What are you making, Marcus? I'm cooking. Imagine you have a leftover sauce, pasta sauce from last night, mm -hmm. right? Just going to put that in the pan. Right. we got a little tomato sauce. we got a little sausage putting in some capers and olives so mm -hmm. we get this nice briny flavor, right? Ooh. And then I'm just going to drop two eggs in. So this is, gonna, this is such a delicious breakfast. It's my favorite Sunday egg, right? Can you just throw in some salt tonight? Come on, man. Stop eating the ice cream. We're having breakfast right now. There you go. Good. You've okay. done that before. Yeah. And then you have this amazing sort of in the pan, beautiful egg toast. Oh, well, look at that. We talk about messy. You know it's worth it. But, but it's, it's great. Good. Come on. That's fantastic. All right. Uh -oh. Try to do it. Uh -oh. oh, my God. This is so, oh you eat so elegant. Mm. It's good, right? That's fantastic. Mm. And Alex Guarnaschelli. Good morning. <laughs> it's not easy to talk like that. You have a great tip for, as you say, when your vegetable, your uh, fruit gets a little ghetto fabulous? Yeah, when you get the ghetto fab fruit in the bottom of the crisper, you toss it in a pan, the mm -hmm. fresh fruit, in this case blueberries, with a little jam and a tiny splash of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny splash for that brightness. And then you just get jam and you can literally put it on yogurt, toast, you can, you can, whatever. It's a, okay, all right, mm. we're having a little seduction breakfast dip right now. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, and people think you got up really early and made this jam. That's a great breakfast tip. It takes two minutes and it looks like it took two hours. All right, well, guess what? If you want more all-star breakfast tips, we are going to be doing a Facebook Live, okay? So all our talented chefs are going to be helping us with a Facebook Live coming up. So head to Facebook.com slash Today Food to watch, guys, and it will be spectacular. Breakfast tips to amaze your friends. Chefs, thank you so much, Martha, thank you. Katie, thank you. Marcus, and Alex. Thank you so much. Back to you guys. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.